Welcome back, everybody. I'm Josway, and this is another episode of Let's Play Skyrim. Let's go ahead and continue. Now, when last we left our hero, Adarantal Ragefire, uh, he was suffering from the audio stutter bug, and uh, his episode ran long because he tried to read too much of one book uh, in too short a time. So, got cut off at the end there a little bit abruptly. I apologize for that. Uh, but you didn't miss anything vital. We're restarting here at the entrance to the... Uh, 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 Cinderian's laboratory here in Blackreach. So first thing we're going to do is grab this Crimson Nurn Root. Then we're going to check out um, Cinderian over here. Now Cinderian was an alchemist in, in uh, Cyrodiil during the events of the Oblivion Crisis. He was an NPC in a previous game, um, uh, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. And uh, he was involved with the Nurn Roots in that game. Uh, as well. So let's take a look at what he has on him. And of course he has Cinderian's Field Journal, which we're going to want to read. So let's take a look at that. Okay, Cinderian's Field Journal. Okay, so apparently we've discovered, by reading this, we've discovered the significance of the Crimson Nurn Root, and we now have an objective to collect uh, 30 of them here in Blackreach. So let's see what Cinderian had to say. All right. Year 58 of the Fourth Era, Second Seed, Midas. I've spent a large portion of my life unraveling the mystery of the Nurn Root, and yet I still feel unfulfilled. The trilling sound this strange herb emits seems to taunt me, to push me even harder to discover its secrets. Even after a generous and indomitable traveler became a field collector in my stead, and provided me with five score of the Nurn Root. I was only able to muster what I consider a mediocre alchemical creation at best. Okay, so that is a reference to the events of the previous game, wherein um, the hero, the protagonist, the, the player character, uh, has to collect uh, 100 Nurn Root to produce a, a bunch of different variations on the same potion, which is essentially a dungeoneering potion. And it gave you, like, some health and stamina for an, 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 a, uh, a certain amount of time, things like that. Um, but even the best potion, as he says, was only kind of okay. So he continues, This only served to strengthen my hunger and whet my appetite for the solution. It wasn't until over fifty years later that the answer to my prayers was carried into my basement workshop at the West Wheeled Inn. The first thing I heard was the familiar tone, that unmistakable warble unique to the Nurn Root. But when I turned around, my heart leapt and a chill ran down my spine. This was indeed a Nurn Root, but of a variety the likes of which I have never seen. The herb was awash in a spectacular array of red hues, each leaf seemingly emblazoned with innumerable variations of crimson. I couldn't move. I was completely transfixed. Never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined a species of Nernroot with such a unique property. After an awkward silence, I finally managed to stammer out a few questions to the traveler who'd brought me this treasure. He told me his name was Obeth Arnesian, a treasure seeker from Skyrim. Apparently, he'd been exploring a vast subterranean network of grand caverns called Blackreach, and had stumbled across what he dismissed as a noisy red weed. His expedition was largely unsuccessful, and he didn't want to leave the caves empty-handed, so Obeth picked one of the Crimson Nernroot to bring home. He said that it took some time, but eventually he was pointed my way, and that perhaps I'd pay a fair price for it. Before I could gather my wits and ask anything else, Obeth offered to sell me the Crimson Nernroot sample, a map showing me how to find Blackreach, and the strange key needed to breach its outer defenses. It took me mere moments to decide. Obeth left Skingrad a thousand septims richer, but I would have easily paid ten times that amount to obtain the sample alone. It took a year of planning, but I was able to pack up and sell my workshop and make my way into Skyrim. Before delving headfirst into Blackreach, I knew I needed to set up a new laboratory, but wished to do so in seclusion. After making inquiries at the College of Winterhold, of which I was an honorary member, I was directed to speak to Avrusa Serethi, a student of botanical alchemy who had a small farm near the city of Riften. By bartering my knowledge of Nernroot cultivation, I was able to secure Serethi Farm as a launching point for my field research. Okay, so that's probably where we have to go next, um, after we uh, collect the 30 Nernroot. I kept the knowledge of the Crimson Nurn Root a secret from Avrusa, but imparted everything else I knew to her in exchange for her hospitality. 
A few months passed, but I was finally ready to enter Blackreach. I used the ruined lexicon that Obeth had provided and descended into the depths. My goal was to gather enough crimson Nernroot to produce my greatest alchemical creation to date. I was certain it would take at least 30 of them to provide the necessary catalyst. This brings me to the present. My initial research seems to indicate that the Crimson Nernroot has a similar affinity for moisture as the garden variety, but also maintains some sort of symbiotic relationship with the enormous fungi that inhabits Blackreach. It's my guess that the fungi itself is a source of water, absorbing it from the moist subterranean air like a sponge. This provides the ideal environment for the Nernroot to grow. Unfortunately, the Crimson Nernroot appears to have a vastly shortened lifespan, and they are in no way plentiful down here. Gathering 30 of them will be quite the challenge, but hopefully the denizens of Blackreach will allow me to gather my samples unhindered. Yeah, I very much doubt that. Okay. So, um, let's consider our quest. Uh, a return to your roots. I've discovered the remains of Sindarian, an alchemist from Skingrad in Cyrodiil. He was exploring Blackreach in search of the Cl uh, Crimson Nernroot, and appeared to be on the brink of an amazing discovery. So we're going to complete his work. We're going to go ahead and collect the remaining Nernroot. Uh, but first, we're going to examine this area because it seems like it's chock full of goodies. We I mean, wouldn't want to miss anything. Leather boots of hauling. Let's see what those do. We already have some kind of something of hauling. Yeah, we have. That's 30 points. And then what else do we have? Scaled boots. 30 points in, more defense. Okay, interesting. Still pretty good for two pounds. See, we got a, a amethyst, some gold, a potion, and a ring for heavy armor. It's worth something. We might sell that. I'll check this chest out here. Some more jewelry. Okay. Oh, there's an attunement sphere, an additional one. Interesting. Grab that just in case we need it. There's some more loot in there. Wow, this place is chock full of everything. Daedra Heart, nice. Plenty of alchemical ingredients here. Many hard to come by. Chanting table, some very nice soul gems, it looks like. good stuff in here. Ooh, almost missed something. Okay, I think that's everything in here. So let's uh, let's go ahead and buff up. I've never been more ready. Let's get clairvoyance out and go find ourselves uh, some Nern Roots. Some Crimson Nern Roots. Wow. Uh, to my live viewers, uh, wow, looks like I've got quite a few of you. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, if you could just let me know if there's any problem with the audio or if the video cuts out, I'd appreciate that. I want to make sure I minimize that as much as possible uh, for my, uh, my Let's Play viewers. Later on in the future, uh, hopefully when I become famous and they all watch this. <laughs> um, anyway, let's see where Clairvoyance tells us to go. No active quest, what? Okay, we may just have to, uh, yeah, I guess we just have to kind of discover for ourselves uh, what's around here. Um, Nernroot grew, grow near sources of water. Here's one right here. Oh, looks like we've got Skulker over there. Go ahead and calm him, see if he has any friends or if we've got the drop on him. Looks like he's alone, so we'll go ahead and thunderbolt him to death. It's so hard to aim down. There we go. Okay. Here's another nerd route for our uh, for our efforts. There we go. That's 13. We're making good progress. This guy has. Bad, not bad. Okay, let me 
need to save the game here. Of course, I'm uh, using uh, Stone Skin to buff up uh, myself and uh, Rally to buff Lydia with extra health and uh, courage. Not that she needs it with her Leroy Jenkins routine, but um, it's a good buff. It gives her a little extra health, a little extra something. And uh, it makes me feel like uh, I'm, I'm working on those skills over time without being too intrusive about it. Okay, um, so let's uh, let's continue exploring, searching for more of these uh, Nern root. What have we got going on here? Oh, wait a minute. There's one right here. Here we go. Okay. Um, right here we have what looks like an exit. Does that go up to the surface, maybe? Yeah, I bet it does. That's another exit. Interesting. I want to try and remember. Yeah, I want to try and remember to leave this way, and then and then pay attention to where that exit is on the world map, so that I can get back down here, hopefully, um, without quite so much of a struggle. Let's see. There's another Nern route over here. That'll bring us to uh, 15, halfway to our goal. Okay. Probably gonna have to go down into this valley. Yeah, I hear some more. It sounds like there's some more down there. Okay, so there's something ahead. Um, multiple somethings ahead. I currently have uh, Pacify equipped, which should calm them and give me a chance to get the drop on them. I'm not sure. Maybe they're inside the structure or on the roof? I don't seem to... Yeah, I think they are. They must be. Let's go up here see if we can find out where they are. I don't like leaving enemies unchecked behind me. I don't quite see the entrance here. Maybe this way. We're getting somewhere, I think. Yeah, here we go. Okay, he's calmed. And he's alone, so let's go ahead and kill him. That was just where I... Let's go find his buddy. There was definitely two of them up here. Where did his friend go? Yep. There's a Chorus down there. Ooh, mage. Okay. We gotta be careful with this guy. Nice, we got him. Okay, now we go, gotta go get his, uh, his Chorus, which is down there somewhere. Nice. Okay, Chorus is down. Go ahead and save the game. Okay, let's loot these Fallmen real quick. And then we'll go back to our search for uh, Crimson Nern Root. Okay, so we were down at the base of the statue checking out, like, the... Uh, the lower ground area. Yeah, down here. Oh, there's a centurion over there. Oh, let's do something fun. Let's since we have Sanguine Rose now, let's uh, summon some Dramora to fight um, for us. Let's wake this bad boy up. No? Oh, he's not gonna. He's not gonna come out and play. There we go. Oh, you can only have one at a time. All right. So check it out, my Dramora is gonna fight the Centurion here. Haha! <laughs> oh, he's kicking Lydia's ass. Hey, yeah, yeah, fight him, fight him, Dramora. Nice. Oh, -oh yeah. nice. He won. He won. That's cool. This uh, this is the Sanguine Rose, the Daedric uh, artifact, the staff that summons a Dramor to fight for you. Oh, he's got a name. Or maybe that's his class. Mark Markinaz? Hmm. Well, let's kill him. Let's see if we can loot his body if we kill him. 